Hey there, boys and girls. How we doing? I'm gonna try to set this up. I ain't going anywhere or anything. It's just, I wanna talk, give me a sec here, about the warrior's ritual. Um, right now, all we're doing is drills. And drills is fine. Drills is the first approach to the warrior's path. The second approach to the warrior's path is burnout. Burnout is about accountability, and it's my word for it. There's a lot of different words and phrasings for the warrior's path. I, um, <clears throat> I just saw another commercial of that kid who is trying to help people get physically fit. And I need to be very clear. The warrior's path is not about getting ripped. The warrior's path is not about looking good. You could look good and be on the warrior's path. That's a possibility, but that's not really what it's about. What it is about is combat effectiveness. As a father, as a man who has been on the warrior's path my entire life, burnout is a regular ritual. What burnout is about is about doing your training until you literally, from exhaustion, fall over. I don't know how I'm going to approach burnout. I don't know how I'm going to record it. Basically, in burnout, there are, there are a few rules. See, first we start off with drills and practices, and drills and practices are about form and function of combat. And we're currently doing that with a Pell. And if you are a boxer, you know what I'm talking about. What we're talking about is endurance. Being able to hit and keep hitting, or in the case of a boxer, the ability to get hit and keep hitting. Endurance is what we're talking about. As a warrior on the warrior's path, I have no intention of doing anyone any physical harm in the near future. There are some people who disagree with this, but essentially speaking, if something happens and you end up in a fight, be that fight hand to hand, fists, be that fight, eh, fireworks, be that fight um, with weapons, okay? And I know military personnel would call knives and axes and things of that nature. Um, not, uh, we call that hand-to-hand. -hand. I don't call that hand-to-hand. -hand. I call it melee because my background's in gaming. When you're not using your bare hands, it's melee. Um, I don't know where that comes from, but anyways. I am not looking forward to burnout. Burnout is about finding out what it is that you're capable of. There are rules. Okay, so rule one, you cannot sit down. You cannot lay down. If you sit down or you lay down, you're out. You're off the warrior's path and you need to go back and train. Okay? You may only take breaks for hydration and you may not use anything else but water. I have stage 3 Addison's disease. I am, at this moment in my life, literally afraid of burnout. Burnout is, is about finding out where you have weakened yourself. I am over the age of 40. I'm not a 20-year-old anymore. I have stage 3 Addison's disease. 
I am literally terrified of burnout right now. It's kicking my ass. I go outside and I look at the Pell every day. And it's frightening me. Because for me to fall over, I have to bottom out. And I don't have the adrenal glands to pick me back up off the ground. What I want you to do, if you're interested, is go look up stage three, Addison's disease. Like, add i sons. With an I. I'm out of shape. I am old. Well, older. I am a smoker. And burnout frightens me. Hitting that pell until I fall down means that my adrenal, as a adrenal supplement has been used up and means that I can no longer go on. It also could just mean exhaustion. It, it could also just mean I just wore myself out and I'm gonna, I'm gonna lay down now. Um, cutting practice burnout is a little bit different because it's a lot more form than hitting an object. If you are a martial artist and you consider yourself on the warrior's path, you really should consider doing this because you might have adrenal glands and you might know what it takes. I, I'm going to find out very quickly what sitting on my ass and playing video games is gonna, gonna have had cost me. And I am legitimately afraid. And I'm a smoker. Burnout is about wearing yourself out. It's about pushing that envelope. It's about finding out where your flaws are. Because in a real life combat situation, those flaws are what get you killed. Where are you lazy? Where are you not? Half of the reason why I'm recording this for YouTube is not just about, hey, I want to show off these things that I can do. It's about, this is a diary of the warrior's path. My version of the warrior's path is, you do not speak a lie. You do not cheat someone or cheat on someone. You do not steal you are always ready to give up your life for another. It doesn't matter who they are. I grew up in a warrior's house. I grew up in my father's house. My father was a soldier. He was a United States Army soldier. And he is a warrior. He is a warrior now contending with his age and that is every warrior's greatest fear is age it really is he has COPD he's the smartest motherfucker I've ever known I don't, I don't even know I don't even know how he is as smart as he is he just knows things he just knows things he, he could have been a scientist with as smart as he is. I am not even in the ballpark. <laughs> if, if my dad was standing on home base as far as intellectual ability is concerned, I would be somewhere in the nosebleeds. Okay? My increment of measurement for anything is a baseball field. Okay? Just bear with me. Dad does not just Dad does not just read about scientific things and not understand it. He reads about he reads about scientific things and understands it. He understands the math. He understands some of the things that they're talking about. He he understands the, the scope and the breadth of of everything that he reads. I'm not like that. 
I kind of have to work it out as I go. And sometimes I have to go backwards. But the warrior's path is, it's not about looking buff. Because an overweight warrior will fuck your shit up faster than you can think before some buff little ditty over there is capable of it. Okay, so I was living in Vegas and there was this, um, uh, he was a vet and somebody decided to sneak up on him as a joke and he had severe PTSD to the point, uh, to the point where he was always carrying a weapon on him because he had never left the war. And that dude who snuck up on him ended up in the hospital. The dude who snuck up on him was like a black belt in like eight different martial arts and was fit. I mean like fit, like fit as a motherfucker. And this combat vet fucked his world. Like never could do the shit that he did before again. And I'm hearing about this peripherally. That's the path of the warrior. It is the dark side of the path of the warrior to be specific because once you have been in combat you can't leave for some people it's much more severe I buried my hatchet when my son was born and now we are re-entering into a time of violence and I have dug that hatchet up and it is time for me to prepare to defend my family. My wife will never understand it. She's a peaceful, innocent civilian and I don't blame her. My father probably won't understand it. He thinks that there won't be any kind of problems anywhere near my family and I disagree. Uh, I highly doubt anybody in my family will understand it. I'm a warrior. This is what I do. I grew up in a household that never gave a shit about color. It didn't matter what color you were, it didn't matter what neighborhood you came from, it didn't matter what you religiously believed in. Matter of fact, let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. That's that that was my household. If you were hanging out with me and my friends in my household, we would have intellectual conversations about everything. Politics, religion, it didn't matter. If it got heated, we took a breath. We took a breath. Okay, seriously. Let's all take a break. Let's all calm ourselves because what I believe in may not be what you believe in and we may all fight about it. But in the end, we have to respect each other's differences because that's what makes America, America. And that, that was always the lesson that like floored me every time is son it doesn't matter what they believe in but 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 son it doesn't matter what they believe in it doesn't matter if you're enlightened or not it doesn't matter if, if they believe in hell it doesn't because that's their path it doesn't matter whether or not they're black. It doesn't matter whether or not they're white. It doesn't matter whether or not they're of Mexican descent or Hispanic or whatever is politically correct today because I wouldn't know I'm a fucking warrior. It doesn't matter if they're Asian. It doesn't matter if they came from Taiwan. It doesn't matter if they came from Japan. It doesn't matter if they came from Korea. It does not matter. We're all, we're all just folk. All of us just trying to make it through our lives. That's the house I grew up in. Is we could sit down and talk about anything. We could we could yell, we could debate and shout if we wanted to. We could really get into it. I mean, if it got too heated, we took a break. We took a break, we stepped aside, we breathed, and then we got back into it. As soon as we were calm. That's the house I grew up in. That's where I began the warrior's path. That's where I learned what I know. 
This whole, whole George Floyd thing, it's... If my father had been there, COPD or not, arrested or not, he would have kicked the shit out of those motherfuckers. He would have kicked the shit out of those motherfuckers over a man's life that he didn't know. That's a warrior. A warrior is a man who is willing to cough up his existence for somebody else's. For no other purpose then. That man's a human being. And that human being, that man, that woman, that child is a human being and they have the right to live. They have the right to be free. They have the right to pursue their dreams and they have the right to defend that. And my father would have cuffed up his life for that man's. I know it in my heart. It's the reason why I follow the warrior's path. is because it is decent. It's honorable. It is an honorable path. And you can't turn your nose up to it. Because an honorable path, an honorable out, is better than any other out. You walk out of this world clean. Even if you're covered in blood, you walk out of this world clean. Because a warrior is willing to cough up his life for someone else's. It's not about who has the greatest skill. Because a man with half the skill that you possess can kill you in an instant without you even knowing it. You'll wake up in heaven or hell going, What just happened? It's about how long can you stay in the fight. It's about how long can you, you, with your flaws, your excuses, how long can you stay in the fight? That's what burnout is about, and we're fastly approaching it. I can see the Pell from where I'm sitting in my truck right now. Because you can sustain injury and continue. You can. It's about will. Can you will yourself through the pain? Can you will yourself through you bleeding out? Can you will yourself through your guts hanging out a hole in you? Can you? And can you do it not for you, not for your life, but for somebody else's? I have let myself go, and I don't know if I can anymore. And if I'm off the warrior's path for good, I no longer have a purpose in life. For all of you who are out there, who are currently fighting for our freedom, God bless you. Stay in the fight. And otherwise, have fun, be safe. Please, Lord, God, take care of each other. This is Captain Frank Hawks and I am signing out.